Rich is a very interesting guy. Nice little terraplane trip to visit him. Here we are coming down the road to his house now. He lives out in a very quiet place. There's our terraplane parked and we're going to look around at some of the neat things that Rich has on the property. Now, Rich is the type of guy who could restore things so that they're absolutely perfect and beautiful, but he's also the type of guy that often just makes the things work and have the patina of their age still on them. We're kind of out in front of his shop here, looking around. Right here, we have two very interesting vehicle projects that Rich has. The one on the left, the one we're looking at now, this is a 1916 Commerce that he's got, and he's working on making everything on here work, but this vehicle will look its age when it's done. Now, when Rich makes something new for it, in some cases, he even makes sure that that looks as though it's old, so that you get the feeling that the vehicle over 100 years old is really over 100 years old, yet it's going to work. And he does have a lot of things piled on it, but he's actually working on this bit by bit. He's got the engine for it inside of his shop right now. Now, Rich is the type of guy that also restores, for example, boring bars. And his boring bars are absolutely perfect. Before I tell you more about that, this is a 1923 Rio that he picked up out of California. Another one of his projects. You can see right there, it's got a really safe gas tank right above the dash. Most interesting how things were done in the past. He's basically got a mostly complete truck here. He even found a radiator from one of the people in the local car club that actually is not quotes correct, but it's so close as a real radiator that will actually work on the vehicle. This is his sort of lean-to on the side of his workshop where he keeps these outside. He has one of the quietest neighborhoods you've ever been to. You might occasionally hear an airplane. Now you can see the fan just twisting in the wind the day we were there. Now, Rich has a bunch of other things on the property. Sometimes they're his. Sometimes they belong to his friend Pat. There on the left is a 1929 tank truck that Rich tells me was the first tank truck that belonged to the Salt River Project, I believe it is. And it's pretty much complete, although somewhat apart, pretty much complete. And it's one of those things that maybe Pat one of these days will get to, maybe he won't. He's kind of got stuff stored all over the county. And he's another guy like um, Rich from the standpoint that they can do super quality work, but they also most of the time make things look old and still run beautifully and operate beautifully, but still show the patina of age. And so if Pat gets to this one of these days, I suspect it will largely look like this as far as a finish, but he'll fix it up so it actually runs and works beautifully. And as you see, it's, it's largely got everything there from back in the day when it was working. And you notice how tanks are so different from what we're used to today. A completely different way of thinking about it, and in many ways, somewhat more interesting. And you can kind of see the animals have been here putting in the pine cones, etc. But as I told you, it's quite a nice little neighborhood, very quiet, nice place to go. And you see Rich, he collects all kinds of stuff. He's one of these guys that's got everything from hit and miss motors to old trucks to old machinery all around the yard. And you know, will he ever use all of it? Don't know. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But he's the type of guy that picks it up when he gets the chance, which has resulted in him having quite a number of interesting items. 
all the way up to big welders these got multiple engine blocks and then when they're in the engine blocks they're often very old trucks etc that he's got available now he doesn't really spend his time selling the stuff he spends his days working on you know, little projects that he's got in mind with many of these items this little hit and miss engine lets you know your riches out front now we're going to head on back to Prescott hope you enjoyed the little look at Rich's stuff the fact that he does most of his things as I said to be old looking even though they work beautiful but occasionally he does something like a boring bar to where you'd swear it was brand new even though it's 80 years old and he can do that level of work Hope you enjoy the video, enjoy the drive back of Williamson Valley, and we'll see you again in a future video. Thank you.